<laughs> oh my god. Spirit vehicle is back. Hello, my loves. Guess who's back? Back again. I'm actually in Detroit right now, which is where Eminem is from. Yeah, what the fuck is that? Welcome back. I've missed you lot. I've missed doing this. I've missed venting, but every now and then the teacher has to go back to school and become the student again so that she can be, or he, can be of best use to you lot. Uh, subscribe if you want to. You don't have to, it's your life, but it'll make me happy. So yeah, the past however many months I have been militantly reading, watching stuff, meditating, you know, tapping into my inner resources as well as the outer resources. And um, yeah, wow, wow. I'm gonna introduce what I'm gonna call the third eye message. So every video now is gonna have a little third eye message. Like an eye message for your iPhone, but from that there. From mine to yours. <laughs> this light is so intense, you see fucking everything, don't you? Well, I guess that's the message. I'm not trying to hide. And neither should you guys be. And that is the third eye message. What we project, we protect. And by that I mean projection. For those of you who aren't familiar with that term, projection is what we do <laughs> when we see something that somebody else is doing that we don't like but it's something that we also do and have and behave like ourselves. So projection is a way for our ego to protect itself, for it to shield itself from the ghastly truth of <laughs> the monsters that we all truly are. It's observe a situation when somebody is being a fucking asshole. You know, if someone's being selfish or arrogant. And instead of condemning them, you know, instead of seeing them as some like horrible external entity that, you know, we'd rather not be around, you don't have to live like that. I think this is a way out which I've stumbled across and I think it's a you know, very well known concept. The world is truly our mirror. What you see in me is what exists inside of you. But I'm not talking about the you that you project, you know, with all your social or occupational pretense that shields our true essence from the people that we live with, you know, and, and, and interact with. I'll call it the shadow self, the darker side of one's mind, you know, the, the subconscious, the meat of the iceberg. That is something which is now, I'm realizing, a fundamental part of the whole. And not only is it, it's detrimental to our spiritual growth by all means to pretend that our shadow selves or shadow sides or darker selves doesn't exist. So we walk around and we wear these masks and we live by our society structures and you know we do as we're told and we don't want to stand out we want to stand out a little bit because standing out a little bit that's now the fashion you know but we still want to feel safe we still want to continue the bravo sierra script with ourselves and that is what that's what I've managed to cut through this year. And that is the most profound course of action that I've ever taken. It's to stop bullshitting myself. <laughs> it's something we're all, you know, capable of and probably guilty of doing. Check how many times a day you excuse your own behavior or let yourself get away with something because it's you and because no one will ever know, right? You know what I'm talking about. Little things that you would see someone else doing and you'd be like, oh, how many times a day do you do that shit? But by condemning somebody else for it, what we're doing is we're like subconsciously condemning ourselves for it. <clears throat> and we introduce a tone of shame almost 
for when we do it. And I think our problem, especially in today's society in the Western world, is that we are so full of shame. You know, I fucking grew up on this shit. Like, wow. I don't even know where it came from. You know, sh shame for being one fucking thing or another, you know, like I, I could list the things, but I'm not, I'm not trying to bring in a woe is me type vibe because everybody is, you know, on their own track trying to cover their backs. You know, everybody is trying their best. It just comes out funny ways. But something that I've always sort of, that I've personally dealt with is a very deep inner feeling of shame or guilt or unworthiness and a big part of me coming into my own has been recognizing and understanding the presence of those things first of all because i was definitely guilty of behaving in you know an, an an extroverted manner which quickly became apparent that 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 extroversion was 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 covering something you know i feel if you're truly confident you don't need to be extroverted you know all of that loud display is often masking something that is much more timid and um, vulnerable, you know? I'm realizing now that the true insanity of our culture lies in these insanely high and unrealistic expectations that we hold for ourselves and others. The parts of ourselves which are little fucking rascals, you know, little fuckers. <laughs> Those parts however much they may drive you or the people around you crazy they're contributive to your success and your greatness in the way that manure is contributive to the smell of a rose think about that just think about that so the next time that you're grating on yourself i am so familiar with that like fuck Life's difficult when you're your own biggest critic. But know that it's all conducive to the to the greater picture. The man doesn't want to hear about, you know, the the punishments he's gonna receive for his endless sins. He doesn't want more pointed fingers. Man, and when I say man, I mean fucking people, right? Like, let's just get that out there. People are already sorely beset by their own conscience, meaning we're already like being crushed under the weight of what it means to be a person. I mean, fuck, like it's so hectic. It really is. It gets to a point where we just wanna know how we can reconcile ourselves and how we can fix this rascality without just adopting more like, oh right, I know, I know, I know, I shouldn't, blah, 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 blah. you know? And the answer to that is to accept it and see it for what it is. To stop seeing it as something that is alien or different or bad or something that you need to get rid of. Because it's not and it never will be. You know, and, and as soon as you can stop blaming yourself for just being a human, the more you are able to move on to the next step because you know, everybody wants to understand how to get on the spiritual path you know how, how to make one's life more peaceful you know how to be happier how to attract the right things into our life you know for our soul's growth everyone asks these questions and i truly think this is the answer the i think the answer lies in the mirror and i think it lies in the darker side of your reflection that's not to say that you condemn that darker side because then that goes against you know my, my whole point which is we need to stop condemning ourselves. we need to just recognize it and accept it not to stop feeling it not to stop emoting you know not to stop being aware of these emotions presence but instead just to accept it you know not to feel shame and guilt about feeling sad angry you know whatever it is that you're feeling just feel it that's what being alive is. That's what being a human is. 
you know, I, I, I had a quote that was like, what did it say? Life is not the big events. Life consists mainly of the storm of thoughts that are forever blowing through one's mind. It's so true, like, wow, what a fucking quote. But it's so true. You're stuck with you. So you may as well just get to love you and accept you, you know? I'm not trying to sound cheesy, it just fucking comes out that way sometimes. Um, but yeah, I hope that um, that's gonna give you something to think about. It's really important. I will elaborate more on this point, you know, in, in, in my next videos. I'm gonna be uploading a lot more often now that I've got this camera. And I've worked out a sort of like, I've, I've worked out a route that I wanna take you guys on. You know, and I, I figured out from listening to you guys and talking to you guys and you know, just speaking with you all about life, where it is that I can help you. You know, cause sometimes we just need a little bit of help and going into a, psychiatrist's office or going and speaking to a therapist or something and you know even having to pay money is not only not only is that like intimidating but uh, the idea of that is just kind of shit really so I'm using this medium as a way to sort of send my love to you guys you know and make sure that you're receiving it if you're not receiving it in your own lives and make sure that you're giving it to yourself in the way that you deserve to be giving it to yourself because it saved my ass. Anyway, yeah. Subscribe if you want. Leave a comment. Ask me a question, whatever you want. I'm a fucking chatty Sally, so. I'll answer. But yeah. Um, thank you for coming back. And I will see you in a couple of days. <laughs>